think that the equalizer would have kept pace with Taken and John Wick, considering they're all cut from the same cloth. To be fair, Liam Neeson was first. Uh, although, you know, in the 70s, they made a bunch of movies like this, right? But uh, Liam Neeson brought him back. Uh, and a number of actors have followed uh, in his footsteps. But I think Keanu Reeves and Denzel Washington the most convincingly. And while the Taken movies have gotten progressively, well, I wouldn't say worse, but because I think they're, even the last one was pretty good, but they, they have gotten, you know, let's say, less impressive as, as the franchise has gone on. I think John Wick has got has improved, and I'm curious to see how the Equalizer fares with its second entry. It's a shame Antoine Fuqua and Denzel Washington used their capital off of the first film not to make a sequel, but to make um, a remake of The Magnificent Seven, which had its moments, but at the end of the day played more like a TV movie, right? Not even as good as some of the TV that's put out today uh, on streaming and cable in particular. So let's take a look at this. I hope it's as good. Uh, I hope they didn't wait too long. I love, who doesn't love Denzel though? He's one of the few movie stars left. All right, let's take a look. They're going to war with me. I'm already back in. Ooh. First time to Turkey. No, no, no. Long time ago. Different life. Now you come back. Yes, I'm looking for something. You can find whatever you wish in Turkey. How about a man who kidnapped a little girl from her American mother? Would not be looking for such a man. Would be dangerous for you. Men like him would think that. Oh, it's back. So murder on the Orient Express, I love it. Even down to the kidnapping. Baby! Ah! Robert, I'm your only friend. It's great, you're helping all these random people and everything. He's a lift driver? Stay off the radar. Something happened to one of ours. So I'm obligated to look into it. Thought you were retired. Oh, I am. Just like you're dead. <laughs> no, that's a great line. I liked it too, Denzel. <gasps> yeah. What's the matter? That's Pedro Pascal. The floor she was on. They're tying up loose ends. Exactly. He's so clean shaven, I didn't recognize him. For seven years, Mac, it's a mistake to go to war with him. It's go time. They're going to war with me. I wonder how much lift paid for him to be a lift driver and not an Uber driver. Whoever did this have off chart skill sets. It was the agency. Family. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. <gasps> oh! Go time! They killed my friend. So I'm gonna kill each and every one of them. And the only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. Seeing you carrying all those books around, I figured you for some kind of teacher. I'm a high level paid government assassin. That looks really good. You know, it reminded me of that great Batman line from The Dark Knight Returns, Frank Miller's uh, comic, classic comic, obviously. I'm a surgeon and you're on my operating table. I'm paraphrasing, but that, you know, th I was like, Denzel's also a surgeon. That looks so good. I don't know how I feel about, you know, they made it before where he was, you know, a government assassin helping regular people. Um, you know, who couldn't obviously afford an assassin, like the 1%, you know, or had government connections to help them out of their problems. And I like that angle for this franchise. This is making it seem more like, you know, a Jack Reacher, a Bourne. And, and you know what? I think it could potentially succeed in that area. But I think it's always risky to change, like, the mission statement of your franchise. But it looks really good. It was funny to see so many different movies referenced, you know? Uh, not only, like... Uh, Murder in the Orient Express at the beginning, as I said, but I got a little uh, Fences vibe, you know, with him, the scenes of him at home. So I thought that was that was uh, really interesting. But it looks very good, and I like it because it looks it looks grounded, but it looks high caliber. It looks like they really made an effort uh, on it, you know, in every regard. You know, and the, the Denzel and Antoine Fuqua are taking it very seriously. So I can't wait. It looks 
very, very good. This is a summer release, actually coming out very close to Mission Impossible Fallout. That looks spectacular. Uh, I don't know if I would have put this in, uh, in the summer. I think this might have been a better fall movie or maybe late August film. Uh, but for those of us who go to the movies quite frequently, we're going to see both. This looks great. So write your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now. Thank you.